Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start on my review of Hamish and the Terrible Terrible Christmas and other stories by Danny Wallace. Danny Wallace is a journalist, comedian, uh, he's written non-fiction before, he's written a novel, and uh, yeah, he's got this uh, children's series uh, all about Hamish. Uh, this isn't actually the first book, there have been a few of them by this point, um, but this is the first one that I've read because I just saw it in a charity shop. In fact, I'm sneakily removing the label here. So as always, I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs before sharing my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads. The important task of saving the world doesn't stop just because it's Christmas, so get ready for three festive adventures featuring Hamish Ellaby and his pals in the PDF. Can Hamish stop a whole horde of rampaging terribles hoping to ruin Christmas? How will Elliot deal with a sneaky sweet salesman determined to give Starkly a sugar crash to remember? And what will Alice do when faced with an unexpected Christmas Eve visitor? Tis the season to be jolly, but will this turn out to be a terrible Christmas for Starkly? Fa la 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 ah. So, let's go in. Uh, there's a very like idiosyncratic sense of humour here which I really enjoyed, it made me laugh a lot. Um, but there was, like this I relate to as well, so here we get the start of a chapter. Hamish did one of those weird jolty sleep jumps you sometimes make. I do those all the time, I, I think it's uh, anxiety related. Um, there's a chip shop called Lord of the Fries, which I really enjoyed. So they have this song, which is like the school song or the town song or whatever. Um, and we get this, the people of Starkley were already on their third verse, or was it their fourth? That was the problem with this song, no one really knew when it was coming to an end. The only clue you had was when everyone sang the last line slowly. Which is how my band communicates that we're about to finish as well. This just made me chuckle. Jimmy's New Year's resolutions. I know bad words are wrong and so next year I will not call Hamish. A blinking noodle bear. A rummaging pickle tinker. A stinky badger. A lolloping daisy bumper. Nigel, Queen of Great Britain. A chicken licker. A toasty lip tickler. Fluff Bumbler the third. Das Burp, aka the German Burp, Yvonne Peckering, a 56 year old barber from Nuneaton, Twerpy Twerpy Doodah. Fun fact, my grandparents live in Nuneaton. And this was a good line as well. He'd recently be getting into quinoa, but he never asked for any because he didn't know how to pronounce it. Hey, nor do you. Good, me neither. I love quinoa. And uh, Elliot it says he'd written an entire musical about felt called Felt, and he liked to joke that this was his best material. I'll have to remember that one for my friend Dave who writes musicals. And uh, Elliot's signature dish is tofu and aubergine stir fry, which sounds delicious, I would eat. And we get this great line. Come home then, he'd said. It's my tofu and aubergine stir fry night, and Britain's brainiest boffins and brain boxes is on telly. And you said you'd give me a short lecture on what langoustines are. It's a posh name for shellfish, apparently. And um, we get the phrase les bonbons, les bonbons supérieurs, means the best sweeties, or the finest sweeties, or superior sweetie. Great line, sometimes it was very hard to tell the difference between a zombie and a normal 15 year old. I have this very badass illustration here. Big shout outs to the illustrator. I wanted to share this as well, uh, which she says, uh, because on that page was the drawing of the biggest, horriblest, meanest monster she'd ever seen. I mean, all credit to the artist, because who'd ever managed to draw that was good. And here it is, and I like that that's like a subtle way of uh, Danny Wallace um, complimenting Jamie Littler who does the illustrations here as well. And so yeah, that's about all I have to share about Hamish and the terrible, terrible Christmas and other stories. As I say, it's very humorous, um, quite festive as well. It'd be a good one if you had kids, you could read it to them over the course of a few nights. Um, it's just good children's fiction, you know, I was impressed by it because it was like professional quality stuff, you know, so very nice. So I give this a four out of five. So there we have it, that's what I made of Hamish and the Terrible Terrible Christmas and other stories by Danny Wallace. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book, if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.